In the 19th century, namely the year 1889, Nintendo began as a maker of playing cards and have expanded their product offerings over the course of the year. Jumping ahead in time to the 1970s, that the corporation is struggling financially and is looking for ways to reinvent itself. Nintendo perceived a chance to enter the fray while the golden age of video games was in full swing and was ready to take advantage of it. Therefore, they entrusted a young artist, a man who would eventually make an immense impact on the world of video games. This is Shigeru Miyamoto, the world-famous creator of the world-famous character. But accomplishing that in 8-bit was quite a task, and he drew his dream character in a sketchbook. Now it was time to give his character a name. The name of that video game, Donkey Kong. And a hero must be able to climb the ladders. A hero become a junk man, a construction site carpenter who climb ladders. But the name Junk Man has to be changed to something more attractive. When this version of Donkey Kong was shipped to the US. In general, they required a storage facility. And what happened there was, a warehouse owner name was Mario Segel with a great mustache. So, Shigeru Miyamoto made the decision to use the landlord's name and give his junk guy a mustache. That is how Mario Segel got the status of a superstar and a mustache. Mario is a superstar as we know it, and also his creator.